and welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to make a front bumper. This is going to be a little bit of a how-to to make a front bumper going through the steps of cutting and, and grinding and I'm going to uh, use silver solder um, which is a brazing technique and um, at the end we'll end up having a uh, nice steel front bumper that will look pretty aggressive from this pretty uh, boring piece of square tube. So uh, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is to come up with an idea um, as far as the, the shape. So I'm going to go with um, a pretty aggressive uh, bumper for this. It is a pretty, pretty large bumper. So we'll end up getting the, the uh, rough center point of the uh, the bumper mark that out and then we'll go go out for a little bit of a taper toward the end so we'll just make something that looks about right so somewhere in there and then we'll grab a measurement and make that the same on both sides and it's rounded on the corner here, so what I'm doing is there's a, a transition uh, where the flat goes to the round. So I'm just using that as the point to measure. That way I get a, a, an accurate measurement from end to end. And just so we can have a better reference and keep track of what we need, essentially we're going to be removing all the material in black. So we have our our marks on both sides to cut this. Uh, there's several ways you can do this. Um, if you're careful, you could put it in a vise and use a, a jigsaw. A sawzall will be kind of messy. And, um, you could use a Dremel with a cutoff wheel, or I use a, uh, probably going to use an angle grinder with a thin disc. So I was able to get the cuts on the ends and then the next step will be just to bend those down with a hammer. Before we do that we need to clean up the metal a bit. The uh, coating on this metal won't allow for the uh, silver solder to flow. On the inside obviously we've cut that metal so that should be clean. That The top and bottom should be clean enough so we just need to, to uh, sand down the edge edges a little bit when you bend this over and uh, we'll be in good shape. So the way that you cut this with a thicker wheel you can't get it completely closed up but that's that's good enough you can bridge that with some silver solder. Ideally it'd be uh, better if it was touching perfectly but we can make that work and it'll be just uh, plenty strong for a bumper. You just take some of the, the flux And you try to just get uh, a good amount into the joint and on either side of it because it's going to flow out a little bit. So I use a uh, map gas with an oxygen uh, to run a, a little little micro torch. Um, a lot of times I'll just use straight map gas if it's thinner, but this is a little bit thicker metal. A um, little bit right on the edge of being able to heat this up enough to get it to the solder to flow with just map gas so that the oxygen helps out. So you don't want to heat this up too quickly. You don't want it to get to uh, burn the... Um, the flux, you want to get the, the part good and hot all around it. You shoot some on the inside, um, basically just trying to get this thing heated up as evenly as possible. Um, 
then let the flux do its work. So when the flux gets hot, it'll clean all of the um, all of the good grime and whatever off of the uh, material and allow the, uh, the solder to flow. So that's starting to get in a pretty good shape. And you can start to see at the very end, right before it's ready to solder, the, uh, the part of it is almost super shiny. It's starting to discolor, but the way that flux is, it's just really nice and shiny. You get this up to heat. You start laying some solder in. And that's it, you've got it cool. So as you can see, I went ahead and soldered in all of the uh, joints. Everything's cleaned up with the flapper disc. And in the end, really, you can't even tell that it was there. If you, you, know, you fill it all in and get it sanded back, it actually turns out pretty nicely. So this will be the front of the bumper going this way, and it'll be going back. And obviously, we now we need to um, remove the back side. We're also going to do a notch here in the front. It's almost like a step down and probably look at making it big enough to put a um, you know winch there. So we'll have to come up with some kind of a, maybe like, it's probably wide enough where we can bolt in uh, a winch. It's just a three racing uh, winch plate with the, uh, the rollers removed, but we use it as a, a guide. So um, let's get started with that back cut open. Okay, so with the, the back uh, section of the square tubing removed, I was able to take a flapper disc and just go through and clean these edges up, take the burrs off, and I get the little bit of a lip that was still here uh, from the, where the cut wasn't quite perfectly straight. Uh, clean these up together, round everything, just make it nice and, and true. get the bend here, what we'll need to do is take our Dremel, I'll just mark the line, extend the line down, we'll take the Dremel with a ball in, so a bit like this on the Dremel, and we'll run that ball end down that line and cut into this metal close to half, and what that'll do is when we take it and get this cut out and strike with our hammer, the weakest point will be right on that line. You'll get a nice crisp line, thin line. So now we're ready to uh, start cutting and grinding. So <clears throat> this is what you end up with after you uh, cut back all that material. And you can kind of almost see the uh, dish shape uh, taking place there. Uh, again, reminder, we put a, a relief cut on the back side. So hopefully, As we hammer this down into place, it makes a nice crease line right there right where we made that cut. So now both sides are 
most both sides are bent down then we'll need to just put a little bit of silver solder on either side and then we'll be able to come back in with a piece you know some of the one we cut out here obviously longer and come in and um, run a piece of metal and solder along here sort of along the front and that'll all be filled up and um, nice and smooth <clears throat> so what I ended up doing is getting a little scrap piece of metal um, roughly the same thickness as the uh, metal for this box tubing I'll put the silver solder on both sides then once I'm done I'll turn it over and run a bead along the front So now that the bumper is completely soldered up and ready to go, uh, we've added the end caps on just little you know, thin pieces of metal soldered in. Uh, everything is pretty well tidied up. The only thing left to do is to have a support that comes off the back that would actually then tie into the rails of the chassis. Uh, I'm gonna go with the SCX-10 width, which is pretty much common. Um, so you could modify this um, to fit others, but I think that's a pretty common width. The idea is we'll take this flat stock, grind it down in a way to fit up inside, clean both pieces up, and then just put a little dab of silver solder in, and we'll have two rails sticking straight out, and then that'll be the end of the bumper. So let's get to that. Okay, so the uh, bumper is now finished, uh, minus uh, throwing a coat of paint on and a little cleanup. The, we have the, the legs soldered on, which will fit on the outside of an SCX-10 uh, chassis, and quite honestly, most others. Um, you know, a, a fairly beefy, aggressive-looking bumper still has enough cut out, so it just doesn't like a big block of um, square tubing. And uh, I think it should look pretty good. The last thing to do is to clean up all of the scale, uh, the rust, the um, little bit of um, flux that stuck down inside where it's really, really hard to get to. What I found, the best thing for that is um, vinegar. So essentially I will um, put this in a vinegar bath and let it soak overnight. Okay, so I got able to get a coat of uh, black paint on the uh, bumper and uh, sanded it down lightly before some 220 just to get rid of some of the uh, rougher scratches. And I think it turned out pretty well. It should make a uh, really nice bumper for pretty much any truck or uh, body out there. So I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, see you on the rocks.